Have you ever heard of oak wilt? Any homeowner knows the fungal disease is detrimental to their trees. After it claims a tree, it leaves a hole in the canopy. Garrett Berger tells us how one San Antonio councilwoman is suggesting the city considered help to replace it. Live oaks are rooted deep in the Bronze Station West neighborhood. How much are these trees part of your neighborhood's identity? <laughs> it's on our logo. <laughs> Their leafy canopies add shade and character. Um, the, the birds hang out here during the day in the heat. Yeah. The squirrels hang out here in the day in the heat. The kids hang out here in the day in the heat. Which means they're no fans of oak wilt, a fungus that can slowly kill a tree and which spreads through open wounds and root systems. Shaw says they don't know of any oak wilt in the HOA, but there has been some spotted in this area right at the edge, and that's enough to make them concerned. Uh, oak wilt can have an impact on, on homeowners' uh, values, uh, which is a big concern for uh, you know most Americans. We linked up with Shaw through the District 7 Council Office, whose councilwoman, Marina Alderete Gavito, wants the city to help replace oak wilt-afflicted trees with other native species once they've been removed. And so instead of it just being barren and full of dead trees, it's like, hey, let's take these dead trees out and replant it with other other types of trees so that we're not losing that green space and, and that tree canopy. The money would come from the city's tree mitigation fund, which developers pay into if they take down too many trees. So we're seeing so much about heat islands in San Antonio. Uh, we need to protect our green spaces. And so this is just another effort in doing so. The plan still needs to make its way through committees, but the seed has been planted. Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News. Thank you for watching KSAT. If you're on YouTube, remember to like and subscribe to stay up to date with San Antonio's latest news and weather.